If you want to learn how to get a beautiful frizz-free silk press, stay tuned and I'll be right back after this. Hey superstars, it's your girl Malika, aka Miss Magic, back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how I get this super shiny, sleek, frizz-free silk press. Yes, tongue twister, say that three times. But first, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. And hit the notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. As promised, I'm going to show you the products and tools I use to get a beautiful bouncy silk press. Alright, let's get started. First, as always, we're going to start with fresh, clean, clarified, and deep conditioned hair. Next, we're going to make sure our hair is thoroughly detangled, and I'm going to go ahead and section my hair off in four by twisting each section up and pinning it with a clip, hair clip. All right, the first product we're going in is the heat protectant. It's the L'Oreal Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. This protects up to 450 degrees, and it promises at least a three-day sleek hold, but it gives me more than that. And the reason why I like this is because it is a water-based heat protectant, so that helps you with not having oily or weighed down hair with the oil-based heat protectant, so that's why I'm always saying liquid-based. This is what I mean. You can spray on as much as you like, and then we're gonna go in and comb it through. Make sure you get those ends as well. I usually try to spray on the ends first and then go in. You wanna definitely protect those ends from heat damage. And then I'm gonna go straight in with my red blow dryer. It is a Tourmaline 1875 ceramic blow dryer. And I like this because it blow dries my hair very, very fast. So we're gonna go straight in with that and we're going to go ahead and blow dry our hair. When blow drying my hair, I usually start at the ends first and make sure I stretch while I am blow drying. And it's like a two thing motion. So you're gonna stretch your hair out while you are processing the blow dryer on your hair. So start with your ends first and then work your way all the way to the top until it is fully dry, making sure that you get your hair as straight as possible because this is going to help you when you flat iron your hair. It is what's going to give you that sleek look. Once we are done blow drying, I am going to go in with something that is becoming one of my favorite oils. It is the Cantu Hair Silk Oil. And because the reason why I like this, guys, is because it is very inexpensive and it does the job. Sure, you can go out and buy your Chi and your um, other expensive bio silk hair oils, but this Super Shine Hair Silk Oil does the trick for at home. And all you need is a dime size and it's very light based so it does not weigh down the hair as well and like I said only use a dime size rub it in your hands and go ahead and put it all over your hair starting with your ends and then go in into your hair that's all you're gonna need you don't want any more than that because you want a shiny silk press and shiny bouncy silk press I should say so go ahead and apply that and now we're gonna get right on into the flat ironing All right guys, I'm going to begin with starting to flat iron my hair, but first we're going to do our part. And I usually start at the back and the bottom. So I part out my first section all the way to the bottom, clip my hair up, and then process my hair and get ready to flat iron. Um, I go in with my uh, spray. It is the hair polish from Pink Hair Glosser. Love this. Once again, it's lightweight. It does not weigh down your hair. So I go ahead and spray each section before I flat iron. And then I'm going to go in with my Remington Anti Frizz Flat Iron after I comb it through. Um, just I just love this flat iron. It's inexpensive. 
it does the trick and it says it's anti-frizz and I do not get any frizz. So I go ahead with my, my uh, flat iron, one pass and one pass only here guys. You'll know in all of my videos, I tell you we only do one pass here. We do not do two, we do not do three, we only do one pass here. That's it. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna flat iron the rest of our hair. I do like once again, I do the whole back and then I section off one half of the side and I do that side and then I go ahead and do the other side. It's basically just as simple as that. One tip I want to give you guys when flat ironing, you go, you do start at the roots, but most people will go down and then they'll get kind of lazy once they get to the end and not take it all the way through to the ends. Guys, you have to go ahead and take it all the way through the ends. Make sure you go all the way down until there is no hair left in the flat iron. Do not stop at the bottom. A lot of people have a tendency to do that. Um, I don't know why, but like I said, I'm going to show you in this last pass, take it all the way from the top, all the way down to the bottom until there is no hair left in your flat iron, just like that. And that way you will secure. So a lot of people ends are all frazzled and that's why, because they're not taking it all the way down. All right, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. There goes that silky silk press. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. And hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. Go ahead and watch some of my past, present, and future videos. I hope to see you soon. Love you guys. Bye.